Hi guys, this is Love Kumar, and in this video, I'll show you how to automatically test for broken authentication using iNOS. Now we have the demo application here. I will log into it. Now, once you log in, I can actually see a bunch of links here. Now, these links are only supposed to be accessible after I log into the application. Now. Uh, it's possible that the developer could have made a mistake in enforcing the uh, authentication so which means that some of these links might be accessible without a login which makes them vulnerable now we have to de determine if or we have to test every single link and make sure they are only accessible after a login now doing this can be done manually where you make a note of all the links available on an application and then you log out of the application and then try to access each of these links manually and try to see if you can access them. Now IronWasp makes this uh, process easy to perform by automating it uh, largely. Uh, so I'll show you how to make use of this uh, broken authentication testing feature. So I go to interactive testing tools, I select test for broken authentication and here you can actually see, uh, so it'll ask me which logs uh, it, it wants me to include in the test. I select the host name, I'll select all logs. Uh, I could actually provide a range of logs if I would want to. Say find suitable candidates. Now these are all the logs which are found associated with that particular host name. Now all of I've I've browsed through the application already, so I've, all the sections of the site are already captured in the proxy logs. Now I can uh, let's say I'm only interested in testing a request with the get method. So I'll uncheck all the post ones. I don't want to check the logout method. Okay, I've unchecked that one as well. So these are the uh, you know logs which are currently selected. Now what I'll do is say test selected candidates. Now IronWasp uh, basically visits every single now. You know you have to uh, remember that I've already logged out of the application. So what IronOS does is it visits every single URL which was found in these logs uh, and then it compares the response with the response which is already found in the log. So what it's doing is it's, it's trying to uh, uh, see if accessing the same, uh, sending the same request after a logout gives a same kind of response or it gives a different kind of response. And as you can see, in most of the cases, the responses are extremely different because the percentage of difference is about 78 83 so if you click on that you can actually see that uh, uh, when in the original case when i was still logged in it said book meeting and the second time when the request was sent after i was logged out now it says log in to meet the star so this is uh, you know the difference between both the responses but there are a couple of instances in fact there is one case one instance where the difference is just 5% and that is for the index page so we can ignore that and there are two instances where the percentage of difference is 14 now if I click on that uh, what we can actually see is uh, even though I was logged out of the application the server gave a very similar response uh, you know when I was both logged in as well as when I was logged out so let's see how these responses look in the browser this is the response I got when I was logged out and this is the response I got when I was logged into the application and uh, you can see that both the responses are the same which means that this specific URL can be accessed even though I am not logged into the application or this particular URL is vulnerable to broken authentication and there is another URL which is vulnerable as well so there are two uh, URLs in this application which can be accessed even though I am logged out of the application and by design they should only be accessed when I am logged in. So these were due to developer mistakes uh, and we were able to discover them automatically using the broken authentication testing feature of iNOSP. 